I'm Connor Lynch, number 55. Play for Pop Point, middle linebacker, and right guard. And you're a senior, right, Connor? Yes, sir. All right. Um, Connor, what's your earliest memory of being a Bearcat? Playing flag football with all my buddies. All right. And play peewee ball in, I oh, guess, yeah. as well. We used to always win, then sixth grade, it was downhill, man. But then seventh grade, right back up. All right, so y'all have been very productive from oh, yeah. the young ages. So what does it mean to you now, and how does it translate into your senior year and being a Bearcat? And, and, and Connor being 8-1 and, and, yeah. and being 5-0 and oh in district and headed to a district championship. Well, I really think my coach from Pee Wee, Jay Korbacher, Caden's dad, I think he really pushed like all the seniors this year. I think that really helped us because like we pushed through adversity, I feel like. And that's because of him. He used to always push us to like we could go to more. So I think that really helped. And then us being eight and one, that just wants us to keep going. All right. And then you, you it's been ten years since you won a district championship. I know, right? That's awesome. That, that's pretty First good. time in three A, it's so it's awesome. So my next question is, how do you feel about the new the new turf field and the, and the stadium and the the when that booger's packed and rocking, well, wow. what's that feel like? Well, whenever they first put it in, I didn't think I'd like it because I didn't really like turf. The turf we got, it's super soft. I love it. And whenever the stadium's full, it doesn't make me and the team want to win for ourselves. It makes us want to win for them, too, because they're all there supporting us. Exactly. Exactly. All right. Now, um, you know, or the, the coach you have now, Coach David, is, is one of the all-time tackle leaders in Paul Point history. And I'm going to go back and go over uh, several of them, but the all-time leader is Brett Renfro. He has 211 tackles. Mm -hmm. You've got Tommy David, which is Danny's brother, who's got 178 tackles. Then you got Mike Hall with 169. And then you've got Danny David at 162 all-time tackles. And Paul, in one season. That's mm -hmm. a season total. Yeah. And you're setting in 107. Hope I'm um, plans keep playing. Make my way up there. All right. And, what, and is there any pressure from playing for him? Him? Do you have you learned from him? Does he? Is he? You know? Does he give you guidance? Oh yeah. He he always like he always helps. Like if he sees something that I could change or like help me get to the hole a little faster, he always helps. But there's not really any pressure. He I I feel like he wants me to try to beat it. Like he wants me to try to get up there and be with all of them. I mean, right. It'd be awesome. That is great. Now, another thing that happened to you this year is that you've kind of made a change. You played fullback, you played a little tight end, you've played other spots, but they moved you. Yeah, they moved me right guard, but I wasn't really for it at first, but as long as we're winning, I don't care where, we play, where I play. I just want to win. I mean, you've got that unselfish attitude. As long as it, we're winning, I'm happy. It's all about the team, right? That's right. I, mean, I didn't want to play it, but we're winning, so it doesn't matter. Uh, that That's pretty cool. No, I just want to go to state, baby. All right. Win it. Hey, well, that's, that's yeah. You're, you, you've won the district. You've accomplished that. Where's your next goals? Go to state. Go play college ball.